fly, echo back their joyous strain. Gloria in excelsis Deo. Gloria in excelsis Deo. Good morning, everyone. Thank you for gathering here as we celebrate this liturgy uh, here in the worship space along with those that are, that are following along online. Today's Mass is being offered for Mark Mosebi, the living. And also I'd like to celebrate this Mass for our own intentions, but specifically for our family members. At the name of Jesus, Every knee should bend of those in heaven and on earth and under the earth, and every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Coming together as God's family, let us acknowledge your sins and ask for God's love and mercy. Lord Jesus, you are mighty God and Prince of Peace. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are Son of God and Son of Mary. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are Word made flesh and splendor of the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us and forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O oh God, who founded the salvation of the human race on the incarnation of your word, give your peoples the mercy they employ, so that all may know there is no other name to be invoked but the name of your only begotten Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the first letter of St. John. If you consider that God is righteous, you also know that everyone who, who acts in, right, <clears throat> in righteousness is begotten by him. See what love the Father has bestowed on us, that we may be called the children of God. Yet so we are. The reason the world does not know us is it did not know him. Beloved, we are God's children now. What we shall be has not yet been revealed. We do know that when it is revealed, we shall be like him, for we shall see him as he is. Everyone who has this hope based on him makes himself pure as he is pure. Everyone who commits sin commits lawlessness, for sin is lawlessness. You know that he was revealed to take away sins, and in him there is no sin. No one who remains in him sins. No one who sins has seen him or known him. The word of the Lord. The responsorial. All the ends of the earth have seen the saving power of God. All the ends of the earth have seen the saving power of God. Sing to the Lord a new song, for he has done wondrous deeds. His right hand has won victory for him, his holy arm. All the ends of the earth have seen the saving power. All the ends of the earth have seen the salvation by our God. Sing joyfully to the Lord, all your lands. Break into song, sing praise. All the ends of the earth have seen the saving power. Sing praise to the Lord with a harp with a harp and melodious song, with trumpets and the sound of the horn, sing joyfully before the King, the Lord. Your blessing, Father. And of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, go and proclaim the good news. 
Hallelujah, hallelujah. The word of God became flesh and dwelt amongst us. To those who accepted him, he gave power to become the children of God. Hallelujah, hallelujah. The Lord be with you. Our reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. John the Baptist saw Jesus coming toward him and said, Behold, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. He is the one of whom I said, A man is coming after me who ranks ahead of me because he existed before me. I did not know him, but the reason why I came baptizing with water was that he might be made known to Israel. John testified further, saying, I saw the Spirit come down like a dove from the sky and remain on him. I did not know him, but the one who sent me to baptize with water told me, On whoever you see the Spirit come down and remain, he is the one who will baptize with the Holy Spirit. Now I have seen and testified that he is the Son of God. The Gospel of the Lord. We heard about the gospel. People asked John the Baptist, who are you? And they asked him three times. And John the Baptist continued to say, I'm the voice of the Lord. I'm the voice of the one who has to come to prepare the people for his coming. Today, In a very special way, we hear John the Baptist is pointing to his disciples, to his followers, is pointing to Jesus. Behold the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. John the Baptist is representing all of us. Yesterday I said that John the Baptist is giving us a good example to see our own mission, that each one of us has a special mission. God has entrusted you to be like John the Baptist, to be the voice. But today, in a very special way also, you have a special mission to point your brothers and sisters to Jesus, the Lamb of God. Every time when I have time to meet my brother priest, whether in Tanzania or here, the main agenda always is to support each other. But sometimes we talk about our own families. We talk about uh, our own brothers and sisters back in our own families. And sometimes... We are in tears because we are almost on the same challenge of life. Everyone is saying, oh, my sister, my brother, oh, my dad, oh, my mother, my uncle. So every time there is an ask, the challenges in our families. But every time we say, what can we do? We cannot do unless we continue to put our trust in God. Because God is our way. God is our source of life. And I remember Jesus when he said, I've come so that you may have life. Can you imagine one of your brother or your sister is telling you that uh, God has nothing to do with me. How pity is he? And you, all of you, you know that uh, you, a brother, has been from the same family. We have been raised together. He received the sacraments, but he said he has nothing to do with God. So, my dear brothers and sisters, today as we are celebrating this Mass, let us focus on our own families and see like John the Baptist to point them to the Lamb of God without a uh, Losing our hope without despair. 
Because our trust always is in the hands of Jesus. Our trust is in the hands of God. So keep going on. Keep walking and keep being closer to them. Don't say, I don't care. No, you have a special mission to transform others into Jesus' lives. You have a good example to lead them to Jesus. Reminds them that he came so that you may have life. Pray for them. Because some people, sometimes they don't need uh, you to say, but they need you to pray. And sometimes we need maybe just to pray and say, come Holy Spirit and guide me and guide my family members. Transform my family member. I am praying for my daughter. I'm praying for my son. I'm praying for my granddaughter. You have to put your special intention just specifically for that. Because that's what we are called to be to pray. And our prayer is not just for one day. No, it has to be ongoing. It's a process. So as we begin the new year, let us focus this 2024 to pray for our own families, to pray for our family members so that John the Baptist has showed us the way. Behold the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. And that is our mission. Amen. Please turn. Lord Jesus, we thank you for showing us that you came to this world so that you may have life. Give us courage always to see you and to embrace you. And for this we pray. For each of us to live lives that will reveal God's love and mercy to those we encounter each day, we pray to the Lord. For each of us to be bold like St. John the Baptist and proclaim the name of Jesus by our words and actions, we pray to the Lord. For the homes of our family, faith, formation families, to be the foundation on which children's faith is built, we pray to the Lord. For each of us to discover God's call on our lives and to live it out, we pray to the Lord. For those who are sick in hospitals, nursing homes, or homebound, to be shown the love of Jesus through the kindness of others, we pray to the Lord. For 2024 to be a year of continued Eucharistic revival, we pray to the Lord. We ask thee through Christ our Lord. Please be seated. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, to become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice in yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Amen. 
bringing you these offerings from what you bound to bestow on us, we pray, O Lord, that just as you have given to Christ, obedient even until death, the name of that serves, so you may grant us protection by its power through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just so due to our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For on the feast of this all-filled mystery, though invisible in his own divine nature, he has appeared visibly in ours and begotten before all ages. He has begun to exist in time, so that raising up in himself all that was cast down, he must restore unity to all creation and call straying humanity back to the heavenly kingdom. And so with all the angels we praise you as in joy of celebration we are claim. God of the hosts of heaven and other holy heroes, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy therefore these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, he broke it and gave it to disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to the disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the choice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks to that who has held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that in partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church, spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Bill, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember your servants. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all have died no mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, and Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and all honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. 
thy kingdom come. It will be done on the earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from evil, evil. Gracious grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, so Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and gracious grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. The Spirit, let us offer each other a sign of peace. Peace be with you. Thank you. Take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the sup of the Lamb. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
O oh Lord, our Lord, how majestic is your name through all the earth. Let us pray. May the sacrificial gifts offered to your majesty, O oh Lord, to honor Christ's name and which we have now received, fill with, we pray, with your abundant grace so that we may come to rejoice that our names too are written in heaven through Christ our Lord. Amen. On behalf of Dick and Tom, I want to say thank you for your prayers and for your participation. And for those who are watching online also, thank you for your prayers and for your participation. John the Baptist is a good example to all of us, to lead us, to point us to Jesus. Let us also help our brothers and sisters to see and to embrace the presence of Christ in our lives. It's not easy, I know, but sometimes by the grace of God and by a good actions, God can make a difference in our lives. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. We go in peace. Thanks. Shepherds, why this jubilee? Why your joyous strains prolong? Say what may the tidings bring? Leave this time thy heavenly song. Gloria in excelsis Deo. Gloria in excelsis Deo.